The rural people of early Appalachia had a great gift growing in abundance in their forest, and that was the American chestnut tree. Every fall, these great trees would drop millions of chestnuts on the ground. The rural people of Appalachia would harvest the chestnuts and put them in buckets and load them up in sleds and wagons and take them to their homes to eat, which provided a good supply of food to get through the winter months. The chestnuts were so plentiful that millions of chestnuts were also harvested by the rural people and sold at market and shipped to the cities. So not only these trees provided a free and natural food for the rural people of Appalachia, but also helped them financially. Also, it is reported that people from the farms would take their hogs at the base of the trees to eat the chestnuts, which provided free food for the local livestock. A lot of the chestnuts that were not harvested were eaten by the game animals in the forest, like deer, rabbits, and squirrels, which in turn helped keep the wild game population in the forest abundant and plentiful for the rural people to hunt and eat. One could honestly say that these trees were a true gift from God to the people of Appalachia. But soon that great gift would be destroyed. According to the official story, which I do not believe, is that in 1905, some Asian chestnut trees were shipped from Asia and planted in Washington, D.C. They had this invisible blight that somehow was able to travel all over the forest of Appalachia and kill all of the millions of chestnut trees in Appalachia. By 1940, all of the millions of chestnut trees of Appalachia were destroyed by this mysterious blight. But amazingly, this blight had no effect on other trees, just the most valuable tree in the forest, the American chestnut tree. Imagine that. I believe it was much more likely that these trees were secretly sprayed with a toxic chemical and the blight was just a cover story. Another thing that I have always noticed that mainstream entertainment i.e. Hollywood, almost always betrayed the rural people of the East in a bad way, which were dubbed as hillbillies. In their movies and TV shows, hillbillies are almost always betrayed as ignorant, superstitious, and goofy. I've always noticed that TV and movies have a strong influence on the way people think. But the early people of Appalachia had it over the people who lived in the cities in this way. They were not as dependent on the grocery stores for their food as much as the people who lived in the city were. A lot of the early rural people of Appalachia lived on small farms which they grew and raised a lot of their own food. But they also had the nearby forests where they could hunt and fish, and in the fall there was a dependable harvest of chestnuts. But our noble politicians who every election year tell us how good they are and that they only have our best interest at heart passed unfair laws and regulations that favored the big corporations and the small farms could no longer make any money selling their produce and therefore most of them shut down which I believe was by plan not by accident the reason for this I think is obvious a very politically powerful and rich man said this Henry Kissinger quote control the oil you control the nation control the food you control the people that is why the small farms and the great American chestnut trees were destroyed. Anyway, thanks for watching my video and have a good day.